Hello. Let's say you have a spicy new domain name you want to use and you want to share access to an application from outside of your home network. You have several options to do this. You can use something like a VPN or a like zero client VPN, like zero tier, tail scale, um, conventional VPNs, uh, open VPN, uh, what's the other one? Uh, WireGuard, that's what I was thinking of, that sort of thing. If you're dealing with end users that maybe you don't have control over their devices to install a VPN or their technical skills are not super high, you do have alternatives. One of the alternatives is the Cloudflare Secure Tunnel service, which essentially allows you to set up a Cloudflare reverse proxy on a device inside your network, and then you can reverse proxy through that to your network resources. So the one of the, the use cases for this would be stuff like Plex or the open source derivatives of Plex or Overseer in this case. So in order to allow people to request media, I'm going to open this up basically. So at the moment, uh, this is just on an internal network URL, but I want people outside of my internal network to be able to log into this. So the way that we're going to do this is use the Cloudflare zero trust facilities for their tunnel, secure tunneling stuff. So there's roughly two halves to it. There's the setting up inside the Cloudflare side, creating a tunnel, and then there's the installing the Cloudflare service on an internal network device. It's very straightforward, easy to do. There's very little configuration required. It's amazing. So here's the old one. Basically, I got a different domain that I want to set up. So I want to get rid of this one and add a new one. First thing, because I use Proxmox and love everything Proxmox, we're going to start in Proxmox and we're going to go to our favorite helper script. I think this will have it as well. Yeah, I'll just grab this one, click the little copy. So th this is essentially like step one really. And then follow the little instructions. So Proxmox VE in the VE shell. Shell. Paste it in. Enter. Totally read what I was pasting in. This will create a new Cloudflare DLXC. Sure. I just go with default. Now, check it on your storage. Away it goes. So these are the default settings. Debian 12, unprivileged, two gigs of RAM. Sorry, Debian 12, unprivileged, two gig disk space, 512 megs of RAM, one core. It's fetching from GitHub. Very low spec, doesn't need much at all. And I mean, it shouldn't, it, it's not really doing much. It's just proxying. So it's essentially doing what something like squid would do. Very low overhead. And then once this is finished, 
there's only one other thing we need to do. So do we want to do DNS over HTTPS? No. I use AdGuard Home and I do not use DNS over HTTPS. Cool, so that's initialized. Now there's only one other thing that we need to do on the side. So if we go into our new LXC, I like to get rid of these tags because I don't like the stuff. Cool, this fits my, my view. I go to console, here's some stuff. Just info about the, the VM. Cool. Now, we want to go to our Cloudflare instance. So that's step one done. We're gonna create a tunnel. Cloudflare, name our tunnel. I think you can name Okay, and here we are in the Cloudflare instance. So I'm going to get rid of this one because I want to free up the name. Add tunnel, Cloudflare, office. And then gives us this. Choose your environment. We're going to pick Debian. And then here's how you install it. But this is the little copy and paste this and we will set you up basically. And then right at the bottom it's got the list of connectors. Now if we jump back in That's it. Boom, there's our connector. And then just hit this little next button. And now we're gonna set up our service. So I'm gonna pick the new spicy domain that I just got. And we want to use it for Overseer, which is 5045. Overseer. Oop. Boom, done. So now, this, using this. Oh, and there we are, bam, bada bing, bada boom, there's our connector. Ta-da! Yeah, it doesn't work from a... Foo, doo doo. Doesn't seem to work from my browser, however. Oh, what if I drop the port? Oh. So it works fine when you use without the port, which is expected. There we go, bam. How to set up a Cloudflare secure tunnel, which is very similar to a reverse proxy, except comes with all the advantages of using Cloudflare. Also doesn't, doesn't use a lot of resources. Uh, Pretty light as you can see here it's something like 64 meg so it's like barely even running really good to have plus you can hook up multiple tunnels to one thingy as far as I'm aware I didn't actually try it but it did give feedback to that extent if I go into my con never mind it's gone from my console ah uh, yeah but essentially you can hook up multiple references to one cloud flared instance. So if you want to route multiple domains, multiple URLs, multiple ports, the world is your oyster. Very lightweight. 
So yeah, I will put all the URLs that I've used in the description of this video. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.